Um, well, you know, I mean, it seems strange to say it because we've obviously talked about it a good deal, but people have yet to understand the fundamentally important on a different order of magnitude climate change is than any other issue that we've dealt with. Human beings have never done anything that threatens to change the geological face of the planet, to leave it an entirely different and endlessly less hospitable place than we found it. The only other time we've dealt with anything on that scale was with the prospect of nuclear war, uh, all-out nuclear war. So far, knock on wood, we've evaded that. Evaded it because, in part, it was easy enough for us to imagine the one great mushroom cloud. You know? Much harder for us to imagine that a billion explosions every second in a billion pistons around the world are wreaking comparable havoc, but they are. And so, you know, most people now know that there's something called global warming and that it's bad, but most people still think that this is something that their children or their grandchildren are going to be dealing with. They don't understand that it's already emerging as the single largest force on the planet and then it's going to get exponentially more difficult in the years to come. And that time lag in realizing that is one of the biggest problems because if we're going to do anything useful about it, we have to act now. And um, we're not acting now, not in any significant or large scale way. So that's why I spend my time organizing big mass movements, first in the U.S. where we organized a couple of thousand demonstrations last year, and now the same thing around the globe with this 350.org project that, that we've got up and running.